Okay, um, so we can see in the customers table we have the customer ID, um, which is an auto number, long integer, and in the orders table we've also put the customer ID as a number and a long integer. So now what we have to do is we have to relate the two tables together. So I'll just close this and I'll go back to the database window. And if we click anywhere in the database window, right click on there and bring up the little pop-up menu and select where it says relationships. And now it's asking us to select our tables or queries. So I'm going to select the customers and the orders. Close that little box. OK. Now we have to create the relationship between the tables. And to do that, um, we have to look at sort of what the relationship is. Well, a customer can have many orders, and each order is probably going to belong to one customer. So, what we can do is we click down on where it says customer ID, just hold our mouse down there, and drag across to the other customer ID field. And when you get there, let go of the mouse you get this little box here and it's basically saying that it's gonna match that ID with that ID um, that's coming from table customers, that's coming from table orders we want to enforce referential integrity and it's personal choice as to whether you want to update related fields or cascade deleted related records I'm gonna select those on and we select create. So Axis has created that relationship there between the two records. Um, so basically what we're saying is if we enter anything in, in the orders table it has to have a related customer record. It has to have that otherwise you'll get you'll get a, a warning. Um, we can enter as many custom customers as we like. It doesn't have to have a related order record. Um, it's basically saying for one customer you can have many orders um, for each order there must be a customer so that's how we create our relationship between the two tables um, you can bring many other tables in here and create relationships between all the tables as well um, you can have one to many relationships which this is one customer can have many orders you can have many to many relationships we can have one to one relationship relationships which aren't so common um, but anyway we can now save our relationship going up to the top here click save and we'll close that down so we've just created a relationship between table customers and table orders